be gracious to me, a sinner. Have mercy, God. Be gracious to me, a sinner. Have mercy, God. Be gracious to me, a sinner. Have mercy, God. Blessed is our God, always now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, comfort of the spirit of truth, you are present everywhere and filling all things, the treasury of good things, the giver of life, come and dwell within us. Cleanse us of every stain and save our souls a good one. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, will not from to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let's worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let's worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let's worship and bow down before Christ our King our God. You heard me when I called, O God, in my righteousness. You strengthened my heart when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, you sons of men, will you be slow of heart? Why do you love vain things and seek out the lies? Know that the Lord made his way one wondrous. The Lord will hear me when I cry to him. Be angry and do not sin. Have remorse upon your beds for what you say in your hearts. I offer the sacrifice of righteousness and hope in the Lord. There are many who say who will show us good things. The Lord, the light of your face was stamped upon us. You put a gladness in my heart for the season of wheat, wine, and oil. They are multiplied. I will both sleep and rest in peace for you alone, O Lord. Cause me to dwell in hope. O Lord, do not reprove me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me because your mercy, for there is no remembrance of you in death. And in Hades, who will give me thanks? Who will give thanks to you? I am worried with my groaning. Every single night I will dampen my bed. I will drench my couch with my tears. My eye is troubled by anger. I grow old among my all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of lawlessness. For the Lord heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord heard my supplication. The Lord received my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and suddenly be ashamed. How long, O Lord, will you forgive me to the end? How long will you turn your face from me? How long will, you, will I take counsel in my soul, having grief in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Look upon me and hear me, O Lord, my God, and my lines my eyes, lest I sleep in death, lest my enemies sail, I prevailed against him. Let those who afflict me greatly rejoice for if I am shaken, but I hope in your mercy my heart shall greatly rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who shows kindness to me, I will sing to the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, will not firm to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, my God, I trust in you. you. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies laugh at me, for all who wait upon you shall not be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who act lawlessly in vain. Make me know, make, make known your ways to me, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, and on you I wait all the day. Remember your compassion, Lord, and your mercy, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor of my ignorance, but remember me according to your mercy, because of your loving kindness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he will instruct sinners in his way. He will guide the gentle in judgment. He will teach the gentle his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for those who seek his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way he chooses. His soul shall dwell in, among good things. He's, his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him. To those who fear him, his name is the Lord. He will show them his covenant. My eyes are always to the Lord, for he, will, he shall pluck my feet out of the trap. Look upon me and have mercy upon me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart have been widened. Bring me out of my distresses. 
Look on my humiliation and my pain and forgive all of my sins. Look on my enemies because they multiply and they hate me with unjustified hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed because I hope in you. The innocent and the upright cleave to me because I wait upon you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all of his afflictions. In you, O Lord, I hope. May I not be ashamed forever. In your righteousness, deliver and rescue me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be to me a God who protects me and a house of refuge to save me. For you are my strength and my refuge. And for your name's sake, you will guide and sustain me. For you will bring me out of the snare they hid from me. You are my protector. Into your hands I shall entrust my spirit. You redeem me, O Lord God of truth. You hate those who maintain their empty vanities. But I hope in the Lord. I will greatly rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. For you beheld my humiliation. You saved my soul from distress and did not shut me up into the hands of the enemy. You set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted. My eye is troubled with anger. So are my soul and my stomach. For my life is wasted with grief and my years with sighing. My strength is weakened with poverty and my bones are troubled. I became a reproach among all my enemies and especially to all my neighbors and a fear to all my acquaintances. Those who saw me outside fled from me. I am forgotten like one whose heart is lifeless. I was made like a vessel that is utterly broken. For I heard the blame of many who dwell round about me when they were gathered together against me, when they plotted to take my life. But as for me, I hope in you, O Lord, I said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your mercy. O Lord, do not let me be ashamed because I call upon you. Let the ungodly be ashamed and lead them down into Hades. Let deceitful lips become speechless when they speak lawlessness against the righteous with arrogance and contempt. How great, O Lord, is the abundance of your goodness. You hide for those who fear you, which you will work for those who hope in you in the sight of the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the disturbance of men. You will shelter them in your tabernacle from the contradiction of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he magnified his mercy in a fortified city. But I said in my ecstasy, indeed, I am cast away in the count from the countenance of your eyes. Therefore, you heard the voice of my supplication when I cried to you. Love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord seeks out truth and he repays those who act with great arrogance. Be courageous and let your heart be strengthened, all who hope in the Lord. He who dwells in the help of the Most High shall watch in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, You are my protector, my refuge, my God. I will hope in him, for you shall free me from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. He shall overshadow you with his shoulders and under his wings. He, you shall hope. His truth shall encircle you with a shield. You shall be frightened by. You shall not be frightened by fear at night, nor from an arrow that flies by day, nor by a thing moving in the darkness, or by mishap in a demon at noonday. Thousands shall fall at your side, and thousands at your right hand. Yet you shall not come near you, but you shall observe with your eyes, and you shall see the reward of sinners. For your Lord are my hope. You made the most high your refuge. Evil shall not come to you, and a scourge shall not draw near your dwelling. For you shall command his angels concerning you to keep you in all his ways. And their hands they shall bear you up as you strike your foot against the stone you shall tread upon the aspen of Ascalus you shall trample the lion and dragon for you hope to me and I will deliver him I will shelter him because he knew my name you shall call upon me I will hear him I will be in his I will be with him in affliction I will deliver and glorify him with length of days I will satisfy him and show him my salvation glory to the Father and to the Son to the Holy Spirit but not forever and to the ages of ages Amen Alleluia 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 Glory to God Alleluia 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 Glory to God Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Glory to the Father and to the Son to the Holy Spirit but not forever and to the ages of ages Amen Matimo in a theos no technique does the Oti Matimo no theos Give your all you to the very ends of the earth For God is with us Be defeated although you are strong For God is with us For even if you should be strong again you will be defeated again Go for God is with us And to whatever counsel you take the Lord will scatter it abroad For God is with us And whatever word you shall speak it will not continue among you For God is with us But do not be afraid of the terror nor be troubled For God is with us Sanctify the Lord himself and he shall be your fear. For God is with us. So if you trust in him, you shall be as a sanctuary to you. 
For God is with us. I shall wait for God and I will trust in him. For God is with us. Behold, I and the children God gave to me. For God is with us. A people who walk in darkness, behold a great light. For God is with us. And you who dwell in the country of the shadow of death upon you, a light will shine. For God is with us. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. For God is with us. And the government will be upon his shoulder. For God is with us. And of his peace there is no end. For God is with us. His name shall be called the Angel of Free Counsel. For for God is with us. Wonderful Counselor. For God is with us. Mighty God, Master Prince of Peace. For God is with us. Father of the age to come. For God is with us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. For God is with us. For now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. For God is with us. Oti methi mono theo. Having passed the day, I give thanks to you, Lord. I ask that you grant me the evening and the night without sin, O my Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now that the day has gone, I glorify you, Master. I ask you to grant me the evening and the night without sin, O my Savior, and save me, both now and forever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Having traversed the day, I sing hymns to you, O Holy One. I ask of you to grant me the evening and the night free of plots, O my Savior, and save me. I asomatos fisis ta cherubim masigiti seinis doxologi. And the six-winged beings, the seraphim, also I'll exalt you with endless voice. The entire array of angelic hosts sing his praises of you with thy holy hymn. You, O Father, existing before all things, have your Son on origin it with yourself. And the equally honored Spirit of Life, that you show that. It Inseparable, one, inseparable are the three. O oh, Holy and Virgin Mother of God, and you servants and witnesses of the word. With the choirs of prophets and martyred saints, all of you who enjoy everlasting life. Intercede in great earnest on our behalf, in as much as we are all in dire straits. So that all of us free now from the deceit of the devil may sing the angelic hymn. Holy, 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 thrice holy Lord, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the age to come. Amen. <laughs> O holy Theo Lady Theotokos, intercede for us sinners. All you heavenly hosts of angels and archangels, intercede for us sinners. 
Saint John the Baptist, prophet for honor of our Lord Jesus Christ, intercede for us sinners. <clears throat> Holy, glorious apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all saints, intercede for us sinners. <clears throat> Devout, holy, God-bearing fathers, shepherds, and teachers of the whole world, intercede for us sinners. Invincible, indestructible, and divine power of the precious and life-giving cross, do not abandon us sinners. God be gracious to us sinners. God be gracious to us sinners. And have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. O Lord, you know the wakefulness of my enemies and the weakness of my miserable flesh, for you made man. Therefore, into your hands I shall entrust my spirit. Cover me with the wings of your goodness, lest I sleep unto death. Illuminate my inner eyes with the delight of your divine words, and awaken me at the right time, that I may sing your glory as the only good one and true friend of man. Look graciously upon me and have mercy on me as you do for those who love your name. Oh, how awesome is your judgment, Lord. With the angels standing by, the humans, brought in, the humans being brought in, the books of life being opened, the works being uncovered, and the thoughts being searched. What judgment shall be on me who has been conceived in sin? Who shall extinguish the flames of my fire? Who shall illuminate my darkness? Unless you, Lord, have mercy on me as a true friend of man. Glory to the Father and to the Son, now and, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Give me tears, Lord, as you did once to the sinful woman. Make me worthy to wet your feet, which freed me from the way of error and to offer you as a fragment, or fragrant ointment a pure life built in me through repentance, so that I may also hear your cherished words. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace, both now and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Trusting in your unshameable hope, O Theotokos, I shall be saved. Possessing your protection, most pure one, I shall not be afraid. I shall pursue my enemies and drive them away, wearing only your refuge as a breastplate, and asking for your all-powerful help, I cry to you. O oh, Lady, save me through your intercessions and raise me from the dark slumber through the power of the Son and God, born from you, so, so that I may sing your glory. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Kitty lays from 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 who have delivered us from the air, for every error that flies by day. Deliver us from anything that lurks about in darkness, except the lifting of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Make us worthy to traverse the time of the night blamelessly untouched by evil. And redeem us from every disturbance and fear caused by the devil. 
Grant contrition to our souls and concern to our minds about the accounting at your awesome and just judgment. Nail down our bodies with your fear and deaden our earthly members, so that even in the quiet of our slumber we may be enlightened by the contemplation of your ordinances. Keep away from us every indecent fantasy and harmful desire. Awaken us at the time of prayer rooted in the faith and thriving in your instructions through the goodwill and goodness of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before him, Christ our King and God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only I have sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me. I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your faith from my sins, turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with the whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Hear my prayer, Lord, and let my prayer come to you. Do not turn your face from me in the day when I am afflicted. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call upon you. Hear me quickly. For my days vanished like smoke, and my bones burned out like firewood. I was cut down like grass, and my heart became withered. For I forgot to eat my bread, because of the sound of my groaning, my bones creeped to my flesh. I had become like a pelican in the desert. I had become like an owl in a ruined house. I kept watching. I had become like a sparrow alone on a housetop. My enemies reproached me all day long, and those who praised me swore against me. For I ate ashes like bread and mixed my drink with weeping because of your, uh, the wrath of your countenance and, you, and your anger. For you lifted me up and broke me down. My days were far spent like a shadow, and I am withered like grass. But you, Lord, remain forever in your remembrances from generation to generation. When you rise up, you shall have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have compassion on her because the time has come. For your servants took pleasure in their stones, and they shall have compassion for thus. And the Gentiles shall, come, shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth shall glory. For the, for the Lord shall build Zion, and he shall be seen in his glory. He regarded the prayer of the humble, and he did not despise their supplication. Let this be written for another generation, and the people who were created shall praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his holy place, for the, look, look, for the Lord looked down upon the earth from heaven to hear the groaning of those bound to set free the sons of the slain, to declare the Lord's name in, to, in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples and the kingdoms are gathered together to serve the Lord. He replied to him in a way of strength, Declare to me the fewness of my days, take me not away in the midst of my days. For years, your years are throughout all generations. In the beginning, Lord, you found the earth and the heavens are the works of your hands. They shall pierce, but you shall remain. And all things shall grow old like a garment, and like a coat. You, will, you shall change them, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your, your years shall never fail. But the children and the servants shall dwell there, and their seed shall be led to posterity for, forever. O Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and of their righteous seed who created the heaven and the earth with all their adornment, who bound the sea by the word of your command, who shut up the abyss and scaled it with your awesome and glorious name, whom all things dread and before whose power they tremble, because the majesty of your glory is unbearable and the threat of your anger against the sinners unendurable. Yet the mercy of your promise is both immeasurable and unfathomable, for you are the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering, and all-merciful, and relent on the wickedness of men. You, Lord, in the multitude of your goodness, promise repentance and forgiveness to those who have sinned against you, and in your infinite compassion appointed repentance for sinners that they may be saved. Therefore, Lord, the God of powers, you have not appointed repentance for the righteous Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have not sinned against you, 
But you appointed repentance for me, the sinner, for I have committed more sins than grains of sand of the sea. My transgressions have multiplied, O Lord, my transgressions have multiplied, and I am not worthy to look up this and see the height of the sky from the multitude of my iniquities, being weighted down by many iron chains, so that I cannot raise my head, and there is no respite left for me, because I provoked your anger and committed evil before you, not having done your will and not having kept your commandments. And now I bend the knee of my heart, beseeching your goodness. I have sinned, Lord, and I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. But I beg and ask of you, forgive me, Lord, forgive me, and do not destroy me with my transgressions. Do not be angry with me forever, and keep my evils in me. Do not condemn me to the depths of the earth, for you are God, the God of those who repent, and in me you shall show all your goodness. For even though I am unworthy, you shall save me according to the multitude of your mercy, and I shall praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For every heavenly power sings your praises, and your glory, yours is the glory unto the ages of ages. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for with nothing to say in our own defense, we sinners offer the supplication to you, Lord, Master, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Lord, have mercy on us, for in you we have put our trust. Be not, exceed, be not enraged with us greatly, nor remember our iniquities, but look upon us now, being compassionate, let's deliver us from our enemies. For you are God, we are your people, all of us are the work of your hands, and we hate now have invoked your name. Lord, none forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Open the gates of compassion for us, a blessed thou talk us for hoping in you. Let us not fail in our aim to you, we may be delivered from adversities, but yet a salvation of the Christian race. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Kitty lace and 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 Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in greater and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim, you without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. You do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Master, God, Father Almighty, the only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and in your knowing way, save me, your unworthy servant. For your blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, give heed to help me, Lord, make haste to help me. May those who seek my soul be dishonored and ashamed. May those who plot evils against me be turned back and be disgraced. May those be turned back immediately who shame me, saying, Well done, well done. May all who seek your grave be addressed in God and God. All those who love your salvation always say, Like God be magnified. By imploring needy, O oh God, help me, or my helper, helper and deliverer, O oh Lord, do not delay. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my, th my soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. 
Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son, and the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you said, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, the only, for you are the only Holy One, you are the only Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, the Father, amen. Every evening I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever into the ages of ages. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal myself for I have sinned against you. Lord, to I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will for you, my God. For with you is the fountain of light, life, and your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, Lord, that this, in this, day we may, this night we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praising God, Father, is your name to the ages of men. Let your mercy, Lord, be con- be upon us as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Bless your Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy endures forever. Do not despise the work of your hands. Do you to praise, do you to song, do you to glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. But not never to the ages of ages. Amen. He became for me a helper and a shelter for salvation. He is my God and I will glorify him. The God of my Father and I will exalt him. For he is greatly glorified. He became for me a helper and a shelter for salvation. He is my God and I will glorify him. The God of my Father and him I will exalt. For he is greatly glorified. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of all. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion give me tears of compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall down, Jesus, at your feet. I have sinned against you. Be merciful to me. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion, O God, accept me in repentance. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Enter not into judgment with me, bringing before me the things I should have done. Examine my words and correcting my impulses, but in your mercy overlook my sins and save me, O Lord God Almighty. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. It is time for repentance. To you I come, my Creator. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion give me tears of compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As the prodigal, O Savior, I have wasted the substance of my soul in riotous living, and I am barren of the virtues of holiness. In my hunger I cry, O giver of mercy, come quickly out to meet me and take pity on me. O Mo- Holy Mother Mary, who prayed to God for us, bowing before the divine laws of Christ, you drew near to him, forsaking the unbridled longings and sensual pleasure. In the fear of God, you gained all the virtues as if they were one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trinity beyond all being, worshiped in unity. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and your compassion, grant me tears of compunction. Both now and forever. Amen. O Theotokos, the hope and protection of those who sing your praises, take from me the heavy yoke of sin. O pure lady, accept me in repentance. See now, see that I am God who rained down man in the days of old and made springs of water flow from the rock for my people in the wilderness and my, by my right hand and my power alone. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have slain a man to my grief and wounding, said Lamech, and a young man to my hurt. And he cried aloud, lamenting. Do you not tremble then, my soul, for you have defiled your flesh and polluted your mind. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Skillfully you plan to build a tower, O my soul, to establish a stronghold for your lust. But the Creator confounded your designs and dashed your devices to the ground. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Ah, oh, how I have emulated will make the murder of all. Slaying my soul as if it were a man, and my mind as if it were a young man. With sensual longings, I have killed my body as kin in a murder, killed his brother. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Roused to anger by the transgressions, the Lord once rained down fire from heaven and burned up the men of Sodom. And you, my soul, have kindled the fire of Gehenna, and there to your bitter sorrow you shall burn. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am wounded and smitten. See the enemy's arrows which have pierced my soul and body. See the wounds, the open sores, and the injuries that 
cry out to God against the blows afflicted by my freely chosen passions. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. <coughs> One can he have and wickedness, O Mary, you lifted up your hands to the merciful God, and asked to Peter in his loving kindness, he stretched out his hand to you in help, seeking in every way your conversion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O Trinity, uncreated and without beginning, O divided unity, accept me in repentance and save me, a sinner. I am your creation. Reject me not, but spare me and deliver me from the fire of condemnation. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, O my most pure Lady, Mother of God, hope of those who run to you in the haven of the storm toss, pray to the merciful God, your Creator and your Son, that he may grant his mercy even to me. <laughs> Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O my soul, you have become like Hagar, the, Egypt, the Egyptian. Your free choice has been enslaved, and you have borne as your child a new Ishmael, stubborn willfulness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You know my soul, the ladder that was shown to Jacob, reaching up from earth to heaven. Why have you not provided a firm foundation for it through your godly actions? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Follow the example of Melchizedek, the priest of God, the king set apart, who was in the image of the life of Christ among men in the world. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Turn back, wretched soul, and lament. Before the marketplace of life comes to an end, before the Lord shuts the door of the bridal chamber. Have mercy upon me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not look back, my soul, and so be turned into a pillar of salt. Fear the example of the people of Sodom, and take refuge in Zor. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Be dragged now, mass of prayer. Those who sing your praises, by your loving kindness, be merciful, and grateful for lips to them to ask with faith. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O simple unity, praise and trinity of persons uncreated nature without beginning, save us who in faith worship your power. With now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen, O Mother of God, without knowing man, you gave birth to, within time to the Son who was begotten outside of time from the Father and strained wonder, you nurse him while still remaining virgin. On hearing about your advent, O Lord, the prophet Habakkuk of all was frightened that you purposed from a virgin to be born and appeared of human kind and thus he said, O Lord, I have heard your report and I am frightened. Glory to your power, O Lord my God. Mm -hmm. On hearing your advent, O Lord, the prophet Habakkuk of old was frightened that, that you pur purposed from a virgin to be born and appeared to mankind. And thus he said, O Lord, I have heard your report, and I am frightened. Glory to your power. Glory to your power, O Lord, my God. Have mercy upon me, O God, of mercy on me. The time of my life is short, filled with trouble and evil, but accept me in repentance and call me back to knowledge. Let me not become the possession and the food of the enemy, but, O Savior, take pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A man of great wealth, and righteous, abounding in riches and cattle, called in royal dignity, and caught in purple robe, Joel became suddenly a beggar, stripped of wealth, glory, kingship. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. If he who is righteous and blameless above all men did not escape the snares and pits of the deceiver, what will you do, wretched and sin-loving soul, when some sudden misfortune befalls you? Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Now I speak both fully with boldness of heart, yet all to no purpose and in vain. O righteous judge who alone are compassionate, do not condemn me with the Pharisee, but grant me the abasement of the public and number me with him. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I know, compassion, Lord, that I have sinned and violated the vessel of my flesh, but accept me in repentance and call me back to knowledge. Let me now become the possession and food of the enemy, be our Savior. Take pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have become my own idol, utterly defiling my soul with the passions. But accept me in repentance and call me back to knowledge. Let me not become the possession and food of the enemy, but, O Savior, take pity on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have not hearkened to your voice. I have not heeded your scripture, O giver of the law. But accept me in repentance and call me back to knowledge. Let me not become the possession and food of the enemy, but, O Savior, take pity on me. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us, who were brought down into an abyss of great iniquity, yet not held fast within it, but with better intent you mounted to action to the height of virtue. Pass all ex expectation, the angels of Mary were amazed at you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Undivided in essence, unconfused in persons, I confess you as God. Triumph, deity, one in kinship, one in kingship and throne. And to you I raise the great thrice holy hymn that is sung on high. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. You give birth and are a virgin, and both you remain in na by nature inviolate. He who is born makes new the laws of nature, and the womb brings forth without travail when God so wills the nature of or the natural order is overcome for he does whatever he wishes early in the morning I awake from night a lover man I pray give me light and guard me in the way of your commandments and teach me ever to do your holy will and Savior 
Early in the morning I awake from night, liver and man, I pray, give me light and guide me in the way of your commandments and teach me ever to do your holy will, O Savior. Have mercy, mercy upon on me, O God, have mercy on me. O my soul, do as the woman who was bowed to the ground, fall at the feet of Jesus, that he may make you straight again, and you shall walk upright upon the paths of the Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You are a deep well, O Master, make springs gush forth for me from your pure veins, that like the woman of Samaria I may drink and thirst no more, for from you flow the streams of life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Master and Lord, may my tears be to me as silalom, that I may also wash clean the eyes of my heart, and with my mind behold you, the pre-eternal light. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Blessed Saint, with a love beyond compare, you long to venerate the wood of the cross, and your desire was granted. Make me also worthy to attain the glory on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. We glorify your Trinity, the one God. Holy, holy, holy are you, Father, Son, and Spirit. <clears throat> Simple essence in unity, worship forever. Both now and ever. To the age in the ages of ages. Amen. O virgin and violet and a mother who has not known man, from you has God, the creator of the ages, taken human flesh, united to himself the nature of men. I cried, I cried aloud and shouted with all my heart unto the tender loving God, and he heard my voice from the lowest depths of Hades, and he raised my life from the pit of corruption. <laughs> Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Savior, I am the coin marked with a king's likeness, which you lost of old. But, O world, light your lamp, your forerunner, and seek and find again your image. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Rise up and, and make war upon the passions of the flesh as Joshua against Amalek ever gaining the victory over the Gibeonites, your deceitful thoughts. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Your soul on fire, O Mary, you ever shed streams of tears and quench the burning of the passions. Grant the grace that is your tears to me, also your servant. Holy Mother Mary, pray to us. Pray to God for us. Through the perfection of your earthly life, O Mother, you gained a heavenly freedom from the sinfulness of passion. In your intercessions, pray that this same freedom may be given to those who sing your praises. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I am the Trinity, simple and undivided, yet divided in persons. I am the unity by nature, one, says the Father, and the Son, and the Divine Spirit. Both now and forever, in the ages of ages, uh, you, your womb bore God for us and fashioned, fashioned in our shape. Both Theotokos pray to him as the creator of all, that we may be justified through your intercessions. My soul, my soul, rise up. Why are you sleeping? The end draws near and soon. Sinned, we, we sinned, O Lord, we broke your law, and we behaved unrighteously before you. Neither have we have kept your word nor acted according to the way you commanded for us. Yet, O God the Father, we pray, do not, do, do not utterly deliver us up. We sinned, O Lord, and we broke your law. We behaved unrighteously before you, and neither have we kept your word nor acted according to the way you commanded for us. Yet, O God of the fathers, we pray, do not utterly deliver us up. Mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My days have vanished as a dream of one awaking. So like as a kaya weep on my bed, the years may be added to my life. But what Isaiah will come to me, O my God, O my soul, except the God of all. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall before you, and as tears I offer you my words. I have sinned as the harlot never sinned. And I have transgressed as no other man on earth, to but take pity on your creature, O Master, and call me back. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have discovered, I have discolored your image and broken your commandments. All my beauty is destroyed and my lamp is quenched by the passions, O Savior. But take pity on me, as David sings, and restore me your joy. Mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Turn back, repent, and cover all that you have hidden. Say to God, to whom all things are known. You alone know my secret, O Savior, have mercy on me, as David sings according to your mercy. 
O Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us, raising your cry the, to the pure Mother of God. You drove back the fury of the passions that violently assailed you and put to shame the enemy who sought to make you stumble, but give your help in trouble now to me also, your servant. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. He, who, who, he whom you loved, O Mother, whom you desired, and whose footsteps you followed, he was who found you and gave you repentance, for he is compassionate God. Pray, O Mary, to him without ceasing that we may be delivered from passions and distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O simple and undivided mm -hmm. Trinity, all holy and consubstantial unity. Your praise is light and lights, one holy and three holies. Sing, O my soul, and glorify life and lives the God of all. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages, amen. We praise you, we bless you, we bless you, we venerate you, O Mother of God. You gave birth to the one of the divide, undivided Trinity, your Son and God, and you opened the heavenly places to us on earth. Him whom the hosts of the heavens glorify, at whom quake the cherubim and the seraphim, every breath in creation, extol him now and bless him and exalt supremely unto all the ages. <laughs> You have mercy upon me, O God, of mercy. On me as a precious ointment, O Savior, I emptied on your head the alabaster box of my tears like the harlot. I cried out to you, seeking your mercy. I bring my prayer and ask to receive forgiveness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. No one has sinned against you as I have, yet accept even me, compassionate Savior, for I repent in fear and cry with longing. Against you alone I have sinned. I have transgressed. Have mercy on me. Mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Spare the work of your own hands, O Savior, and as a shepherd, seek the lost sheep that has gone astray. Snatch me from the wolf and make me a nursery in the patch of your own flock. Have mercy upon me, O God, have mercy on me. When you sit on your throne, O merciful judge, and reveal your dread glory, O Christ, what fear will there be then? When the furnace burns with fire and all shrink back in terror before your judgment see. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. The mother of the light that never sets illuminated you and freed you from the darkness of the passions. O Mary, who received the grace of the Spirit, give light to those who praise you with faith. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. The Holy Zos, who must have struck with amazement, the mother beholding in you a, true, a wonder truly strange and new. For you saw an angel in the body and was filled with astonishment, praising Christ unto all ages. We bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Father without beginning, co eternal Son, and loving comfort of the Spirit of the of righteousness, begetter of the word of God, word of the eternal Father, spirit living and creative, O Trinity, in unity have mercy on me. Both now and forever, amen, in the ages of ages. As, as from purple silk, O undefiled virgin, the spiritual robe of Emmanuel, his flesh was woven into your womb. Therefore we honor you as Theotokos, in very truth. The birth is inevitable, conceived without the seed of many unwed mothers, child by was free of all corruption. The birth of God makes new again in nature, and thus in Orthodox men are all generations magnify you as the mother and the bride of God. The birth is ineffable, conceived without the seed of many unwed mothers, child birth was free of all corruption. The birth of God makes new again the natures, and thus in all Orthodox manner, all generations magnify you as the mother and the bride of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O son of David, with your word you heal the possessed. Take pity on me, save me, and have mercy. Let me hear your compassionate voice speak to me as to the robber. Truly, I say to you, you shall be with me in paradise when I come in my glory. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A robber accused her, a robber confess your Godhead. For both were hanging beside you on the cross. Open to me also, O Lord, of many mercies, the door of your glorious kingdom, as once it was open to your robber, who acknowledged you with faith as God. Have mercy upon me, O God, have mercy on me. Creation was in anguish, seeing you crucified. Mountains and rocks were split from fear. The earthquake and the hell was despoiled. The light grew dark in the daytime, beholding you, Jesus, nailed in the flesh. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not demand from me worthy fruits of repentance, for my strength has failed within me. Give me an ever contrite heart, and poverty of spirit, that I may offer these to you as an acceptable sacrifice, Holy o, only Mother, Savior. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. For your strange way of life, you strike all with wonder, but the host of angels and the gatherings of mortal men, for you surpass nature and live that stone no longer in the body. Like a bodiless angel, you walked upon the joy with your feet, O Mary, and crossed over it. Holy the Mother Mary, pray to God for us. O Holy Mother, call down the gracious mercy of the Creator upon us who sing your praises that we may be set free from the sufferings and afflictions that assail us, so that without ceasing delivered from temptations, we shall magnify the Lord who glorified you. Holy Father Andrew, pray to God for us. Venerable Andrew, Father thrice blessed, pastor of Crete, 
Cease not to offer prayer for us who sing your praises, that we may be delivered from all danger and distress, from corruption and sin, who honor your memory with faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Trinity and one essence, Trinity and three persons, we sing your praises. We glorify the Father, we magnify the Son, we worship the Holy Trinity, the Holy Spirit, Trinity, one God, by nature, life, and life, kingdom without end. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Watch over your city, O miracle, O pure mother of God, by you. She reigns in faith by you. She is made strong by you. She is victorious, putting to flight every temptation, despoiling the enemy and ruling her subjects. The birth is ineffable, ineffable, conceived without the seed of man. The unwed mother's childbirth was free of all corruption. The birth of God makes new again the natures. And thus, in all orthodox manner, all generations <laughs> magnify you as the mother and the bride of God. As the tales of Jesus Christ, as the tantos of Jesus Christ, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. As the tales of Jesus Christ, as the tantos of Jesus Christ, Lord, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, 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 the Oskei misa pimente sotilatis man, ke misi ke negis masi spiras man, alirisi mas putu poniru. Ti su esini vasi mia ke edini mis ke doxa, tu patros ke tu iu ke tu aiu pnev matos nin ke aiu ke estis eonas tu neono. Symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Lord of the
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, if we did not have your saints as intercessors in your benevolence, being compassionate towards us, how would we dare to extol you, O Savior, whom the angels bless unceasingly? O Master, who knows our hearts, we pray you to spare our souls. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> o Theotokos, my offenses are indeed very many. I run to you, I run, O Baden Pure, and I pray for salvation. Visit my infirm and ailing soul, and pray for me to your Son and our God, to grant me forgiveness for the evils I have done, O only blessed Lady. During my lifetime, I pray do not abandon me, nor entrust me to merely human protection. Rather, you help me yourself and have mercy on me. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. I say, God, who at all times and every hour, both in heaven and on earth, our worship and glorified, long suffering, plenties and mercy and compassion, loves the righteous and shows mercy to sinners, calls all men to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. Do you, the same Lord, receive also our supplications at this present time, direct our lives according to commandments, sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds aright, clear up our thoughts, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels so that being guarded and guided by their presence, we may arrive at the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your enough of glory for your blessing to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for none forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You with all corruption give birth to God the word, now truth, out though, because you do be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. May God be gracious unto us, and bless us, may cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord and Master of my life, do not give me the spirit of laziness, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. To give rather to your servant the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, Grant me to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own faults and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages, amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now, both now and ever, into the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Most spotless, unstained, incorruptible, undefiled, pure virgin lady, bride of God, who through your 
everyone, just worth giving, united God, the word with mankind, and link the full nature of our race, human race, with the heavenly. The only hope of the hopeless and the hope of the persecuted, the ready support of those who seek refuge in you and the shelter of the Christians. Do not despise me, the wretched sinner, who have defiled myself with shameful thoughts and words and deeds, and through negligence of thought have become slave to the pleasures of life. But as the mother of our compassion and God and a friend of man, have compassion on me, the sinner and prodigal, and accept this prayer from my impure lips, and using your motherly standing, entreat your son and our mas master and Lord to open unto me the depths of his loving goodness, and overlooking my innumerable faults to return me to repentance and make me worthy of his commandments. Stand by me forever in this life as a merciful and compassionate, good and loving, warm protector and helper, by repulsing the assault of the adversary and leading me toward salvation. And at the time of my death, by embracing my miserable soul and driving far away from it the dark faces of the evil demons. And at the awesome day of judgment, by redeeming me from eternal hell and proclaiming me an heir of the ineffable glory of your Son and our God. May I enjoy such fate, my Lady Most Holy Theotokos, through your intercession and protection, through the grace and love for me, kind of you only begotten, inside our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom long all glory, honor, and worship, together with his beginningless Father and his all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And grant us, Master, as we depart for sleep, rest of body and soul, and preserve us from the gloomy slumber of sin and from every dark and nocturnal pleasure. Arrest the drives of passion. Extinguish the burning arrows of the evil one, which insidiously fly in our direction. Support, suppress the rebellions of our flesh and calm every earthly, earthly and material thought. And grant to us, O God, alert mind, prudent thinking, sober heart, light sleep, free of any satanic fantasy. Awaken us at the time of prayer rooted in your commandments and having unbroken with us the remembrance of your ordinances. Grant that we may sing your glory through the night by praising and blessing and glorifying your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious of your virgin, blessed Theotokos, bring, your, bring our prayer before your Son and our God and entreat him to you to save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my shelter. Holy Trinity, glory to you. Mother of God, I have committed my every hope to hold unto you. Keep me under your shelter. Que per te kataks xio thini mas sakras yos tu ayu evangelio. Kiri eto theonimon ikatev somer. Sofia, Orfia kusmen tu ayu evangelio. Iri ni pasim. Ek tu. Katamat theon ayu evangelio ton agnos ma proskomen. The Lord said, Ask, and it will be given. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be open. Or what man of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? For he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Peace be with all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life giving cross, protection, the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, supplication, the honorable glorious prophet, and forerunner John the Baptist, holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostle, the holy, glorious, triumphant martyrs. Of our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregor the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Thanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra and Lysia, Spirit on Bishop Trimethius, Nectarius of Pandopolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius, the Myrrh Flowing, Theater of the Recruit, Theater of the General, Minas, the Wonder Worker, of the Hierom Martyrs, Adonibus and Ephthadius, the Holy Glorious, Victorious Martyrs, of the Holy Glorious, 
<clears throat> great martyr and all audible of me of the holy glorious martyrs, Stecla Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Pelisca, Viarina, Marcella of Hios, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs of our righteous and God bearing fathers of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, accept our prayer. Amen. Grant us forgiveness of our transgressions. Amen. Protect us under the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every enemy and adversary. Amen. Grant peace to our life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us and on your world. Amen. And save our souls as a good and loving God. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. For all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Sava. Lord, have mercy. For our nation. Lord, have mercy. For the armed forces. Lord, have mercy. For our absent fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters. Lord, have mercy. For those who help us and those who serve us. Lord, have mercy. For those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. For those who have asked us the unworthy to pray for them. Lord, have mercy. For the release of captives. Lord, have mercy. For those who are traveling. Lord, have mercy. For those laid up with illnesses. Lord, have mercy. Let us also pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth Lord, have mercy. and for our for all of our fathers and brethren departed this life those who here who lie here in peace in the Orthodox everywhere Lord, have mercy. let us say for ourselves Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. please be seated <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, this is the day that the Lord has made. I, I made a mistake last night whenever we were at, uh, I made several mistakes last night, whenever we were pre-sanctified together. Um, uh, and some, some unfortunately, I, I brought other people with me, unfortunately, uh, making mistakes while, while chanting. But one of the mistakes that I made last night was during the Presanctified, I was not paying attention to the gospel because in my head I was saying to myself, why were we reading a gospel during Presanctified? That only happens during Holy Week, right? We should never read a, a gospel during the Presanctified. Especially when we are celebrating the presanctified liturgy, not for yesterday. We know this presanctified liturgy goes for what? The next day. It's a Vespers, right? It's a Vesper. We go to the next days. So how are we doing this? And then I quickly, well, not quickly. Unfortunately, I was stewing on that for a while. <laughs> and, uh, and then I, it came to me the fact that uh, presanctified liturgy was a later tradition. So it has not fully found its home. It, it wasn't, the presanctified liturgy was not like one of the earliest liturgies of the church. It was actually one of the last liturgies that we had during a time that people were looking for sustenance during the week because they weren't eating. They were fasting. And not fasting the way we sometimes fast from like meat, dairy, you know, uh, oils and things like this. No. Some of these individuals weren't eating at all. And maybe some of you know individuals that do that, and that's fine. That's not the point. The point is, is that pre-sanctified liturgy was given as a way for us to have strength during the week when we were doing this. But it was a solemn time, a somber time. And so it, it, it was, we took most of those hymns from the Triodium, and we compiled these services together in a very compunction, compunctionate way, in a very um, non-celebratory way. And so whenever I was hearing that there was a gospel like last night, I forgot that it was actually the, the day of the 40 martyrs. And the hymns reminded me of that. And then I also forgot, because I, I was saying that that was a mistake because we should have been doing the hymns for the 10th. You see how this works? You see how you can not pay attention? <laughs> you, see how, you see how easily... Your brain can twist and turn and twist and turn and twist and turn. By the way, the, the, the taxi last night was correct. It wasn't wrong. It was 100% it was correct according to Tupicorn. I was incorrect. Okay, because pre-sanctified liturgy actually can be done in the morning and not necessarily just in the evening because sometimes in the evening, 
people do compline and not pre-sanctify them. So again, this is how these things work. And then I, re- I was reminding myself how quickly we can go from being completely inside something the way we're supposed to be and focused on something the way we're supposed to be. And how quickly we can go from there to having absolutely no fruit whatsoever in whatever it is that we're doing. How quickly we can do from how quickly we can go from here to there. You don't believe me? Judas. <laughs> how quickly, right? How quickly we can go from what we were supposed to be doing, casting out demons, trusting the Lord, doing everything that he was supposed to be doing, and then he turned into a thief and the person that betrayed Christ. How quickly? It's, it's available to us. We can betray Christ. We can do it with our every day, with our every, with, with our, with our every action. We can do it with the, the, the way that we speak, the way that we talk to each other. And then, how quickly we can come back to Christ. But that road is a road of repentance. And that's what this entire week is about. It's to shock ourselves back into the place where we are remembering what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Should we be fasting? Yes. Should we we be praying? Without question. Should we be doing things and acts uh, of mercy, uh, uh, of selfish, selflessness? Yes. We should be doing all of those things. But above all, everything else, the thing that we have heard from Monday until today, and we're not going to stop hearing, is that we need to repent. We need to repent. And not from the thing that's within our, in our heads, right? Because our heads can trick us. In between our ears, we can justify how many different ways we are good. We're fine, man. I prayed that service. I did the thing. I did over here. I did my Koposkini. I did my, my Matanias. I, I said the prayer of Saint Ephraim the Syrian. I did everything that I was supposed to be doing. I checked my boxes. Without searching within our soul, truly searching within our soul. Oh, okay, fine. That means we're levitating and casting out demons, right? That's what we're doing, right? We're raising the dead. We're cleansing leopards. Lepers. I don't want you to cleanse leopards. That, that would be dangerous. But <laughs> We're doing... Are we performing miracles? Then there's work to be done, folks. And even like Judas, if we're performing miracles, let's not be haughty. Let's not be boastful. We need to keep our head down from looking up at anyone in a sinful way or in a comparatory way, saying I'm just as good or if not better than this person or I'm this or I'm that. No. If we're going to put our head up, take it the whole way. And that's what these Gospels this week are all about. From Monday until tonight. And it's not done. It's reminding ourselves, first of all, that we're sinful. We got those through the first few days. And secondly, from last night, not last night's gospel in the Presanctified Liturgy, but the gospel that was supposed to be in the Compline, if you had an opportunity to reason, and tonight is don't despair, ask. Ask. If you have faith, ask. If you're doing these things and not just doing them for the motion of doing it or for the repetition of doing it, if you're doing it to actually change your life, then ask. If you have made your soil, the soil of your soul, fertile through your repentance, then ask for the seed. Ask for God to plant his word within you. Ask for it to grow. Ask for him to water it. Ask. What are we waiting for? If we're doing the work, ask. Because we will not get anything from the Lord that we do not ask for. And even though God knows what we want. He's waiting for us to ask. 
There was the most powerful image that, I, that, that was recounted to me by my spiritual father growing up. And it was this image of a person, a, a monk actually, that was, that was battling, struggling so hard with a particular temptation in his life. He wouldn't tell me what the temptation was. Doesn't matter. He had this, he had this pirasmo, he had this temptation, he had this thing that would not go away. And he couldn't understand. And so he, he, was, he was going to his, his Yerunda at the monastery and he said, Yerunda, I don't understand. I'm doing, all my, I'm doing all my prostrations. I'm saying my komposkini. I'm doing these things. I'm doing all the things that you're asking me to do. And so, and so the Yeranda took him up to a cliff. And, he, and he, he said, I want you to close your eyes and then when I tell you to open them, open them. He said, okay. So he opened them and he looked down on the ground and there was a mob, just this black mass mob of demons that were coming after him. Demons that represented his temptation, his specific struggle at that moment. And they were clawing on top of each other to climb up this mountain to get to him. And they were relentless. And he said, these are the demons that are coming after you. And he said, oh my goodness. Seeing this for the first time like this, he was just almost in despair. And he said, wait, 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 wait. Don't just look west, turn and look east. And he turned and looked east. And when he saw over there was the most magnificent array of angelic army. Countless, numberless, way outnumbering the black mob and the horde that was coming after him. And they were standing at attention, ready. He could see their swords, ready to fight for him. And, and, and he asked the, the, he asked his janitor, he said, who's this? He goes, these are the angels that are ready to fight for you. And he looked at the janitor and he said, well, what are they waiting for? Come and help me. And the janitor said, you haven't asked them. You haven't opened your mouth and asked to be delivered from this temptation. All you have to do is ask. Our Father in this gospel this evening knows what we want. And He knows what best to give us. We have to ask for it. And not, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about, oh, I want a new car, I want a this, I want a that. We know. We know how to ask the good things from our Lord. We know how to ask what is necessary. And if, we, and if we are going through our struggle, we also know how to ask for the courage to endure it like Job. We know how to do this. Sometimes we forget. As simple as asking. We're in our first week. We're getting towards the second half of the first week. Let's remember during this time to ask we will get tired we will be exhausted from this Lenten period although I gotta tell you this evening oof, by, by the prayers of everyone here I was strengthened I have to say I just have to say that but we will get tired during this during this uh, during this time just ask our Lord will be there we have one more gospel for our evening complines. We will hear that tomorrow night during our Heretismus service. So may the Lord continue to bless us and guide us as we come forward to venerate uh, the icon uh, and as we leave this evening. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Φραγίσουν οι άδικον Χριστέ, οι παρθένους βλέπουσα, ορδυρουμένοι ευώασοι, τέκνον γλυκά, γλυκύτατον, πως αδίκους πάσχεις, πως τον ξύλου κρέμασι, ο πάσαν τη γη κρεμάσες, την είδασι, μη λείπεις λι, με, Ευγεργέτα πολύ έλε τη μητέρα και δουλειν σου δεωμέν. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. Have a blessed evening. Oh yeah, Sunday of Orthodoxy, 5.30. I mean, you have your own services, but Sunday of Orthodoxy in the evening, Pan-Orthodox, 5.30 at St. George's in Serbian.